Hey, what's up? Lefty again, this time for After Effects, and I got a request from how I did my titles on one of the promos. Well, uh, here's what I did. Um, I used one of this uh, plugin called it uh, Zagworks 3-Day Invigorator, and you can find his page right over here. It's, uh, it's a very useful plugin, I must say and you don't need uh, programs like um, Cinema 4D or or uh, 3D Max to make a 3D titles and you just uh, you just plug in for After Effects and it's uh, pretty cool and um, it's a uh, pretty useful tool you should uh, check it out on zackworks.com uh, well here in After Effects here is the title that I created uh, the 3D with the uh, uh, 3D invigorated from Zackworks now uh, to begin with it, we will need Photoshop uh, uh, to begin with this uh, tutorial. So you will need Photoshop, and at least also you will need the plugin. So visit the website, and uh, you better sure um, check it out. Now let's go switch to uh, Adobe Photoshop. All right, here we are in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do on uh, on almost all versions of Adobe Photoshop, and I use Adobe Photoshop because I think uh, everybody has it. I don't know, everybody has it. So anyway, let's begin on making uh, design the title that we're gonna transform into the 3D form. So we go to File, New, and we're going to uh, set the frame uh, height and stuff, but I choose this for the uh, for this preset 64448 uh, and well it's just uh, it's just about the text right and right here we're gonna just pick up this type tool and we're gonna type in whatever you want so in my case I will type example right just uh, choose the color black and anyway the color it doesn't really matter it's just uh, and you can uh, choose any one of your fonts. Well, I just uh, leave it as uh, Arial. So right over here, you're gonna just send this. And I'm just going to crop because I don't need all of that. Right here, we have our title. Now we will have um, to export this as a Illustrator file. And to be exported as an Illustrator file, we will need to transform this text into a, into a shape. Well, we could select the pen tool. And design it over, but that will take too much time if we would, if we wanted to convert this into shape. So we just select the layer, go to layer, type, create work pad. So automatically it it has created a work pad right here. So as you see here, just nicely created a work pad. And if you go right here, we can see the work pad that he has created. Now so actually we are now done well we just need to export this title so we go to file export patch to illustrator which we here can save the file as an illustrator file so right over here I'm just going to save it as let's see it um, example right I'm just gonna press enter and now let's go back to Adobe After Effects so right on Adobe After Effects, we will begin with it. Of course, you will need the Zagworks plugin named 3D Invigorator to create this 3D title. So now we'll be creating a new. Well, I'm just gonna create a new composition and choose the uh, NTSC DV preset. All right. Um, well, to begin, we will be creating a new solid. It doesn't really matter what. So I just call this 3D and leave it black make sure it's uh, on the comp size and press ok so right now we'll be adding this 3d invigorator plugin into the solid so we just simply drag it into the solid and now right here we got a little menu that has pop up uh, with, with a lot of some uh, of options well we're just going to choose this one open illustrator file which now we can search for our illustrator file now right over here you just need to search it where did you save that um, that illustrator file that we just have made and well 
as you see right here I just save it uh, right over here title and well I rename it as title because example I really couldn't find it so we select them and while I'm selecting we will have to choose this option open as layers because if we don't open as layers we will have the whole text convert into a shape which we don't have uh, that form that we are looking for so right now I just going to think this box open as layers and press OK so right of now I got this screen right here of the 3D invigorator which I have met my example of Photoshop where I typed uh, which I got it here also on the screen well it's, a, it's really nice and really easy right with this little option right here we can just you know swing this roll it like on the camera and while here it goes refreshing and give it us the preview of how the text would like and uh, right over here we can just choose a position right here we can just zoom in and uh, we can do a lot of uh, stuff with it now I'm not going to explain all the basics but now I'm just going to explain it how to do a little animation with it so um, now we will just just change the same preview and what we're going to do is make a new camera layer new right over here new camera so right you just choose one of the cameras right here uh, for me I prefer the 50 millimeter so right over here I got a camera which also the 3D turned to reset it so now we'll be to 3D integration and we're going to choose use comp camera which we have here a composition camera and uh, right there we got a composition camera so now we will be able to use these tools from the orbit and the track to change the position of the camera of the 3D tile right here so now also we can bring the position of this of the camera and go a little bit forward and just animate it like we want it so now I'm just going to preview this alright so this is the example of the animation and it looks pretty cool and I'm also going to, sh to uh, show you some one of the extras right over here we can also use uh, composition lights so if we make a new light and uh, we make kind of orange so kind of or, uh, ambient orange and which is a point right and as we go to the 3d solid and we use it use comp light we can see that we have made a light right there now I'm just going to uh, put it forward and now if we change the C options we could just create a kind in depth right there which will create a nice light also we can change the light colors to another color like red or even a light red because now it's too uh, dark red which we can uh, also we can multiply these lights to create a kind of um, a nice effect also so now we have a little red just uh, going pick the Z and going a little bit forward and with this one we're gonna make a little bit more red just really hard red just put it more on the scene which now we got we have two lights and if I orbit this a little bit right we can see a little bit of uh, effect right here on the background which it looks pretty uh, pr pretty cool now this is this was how to create uh, a 3D title without using 3D Max and um, all the other version programs and it's really easy with this plugin and I will recommend you this plugin because it's a very useful plugin especially when you when you want to transform uh, uh, work pads to 3D so I will recommend this for you well and hang on because in the next tutorial I will be explaining how to export this title into your Premiere